Hey, Grandpa, you know how Aiden won Loretta's? Yeah, he was really good. Yeah, that bike looked fast. I wonder how I'd be on it. does it take to win Loretta Lynn's in the super mini class? Well, for that one, you're gonna have to ask Aiden Zing himself. But in today's video, we're testing his KTM 112 super mini race bike that he won Loretta's on. So who is Aiden Zing? Well, if you don't live here in Southern California, you might not have heard of his name before Loretta's this year, but after winning the super mini two class, we think a lot of people know his name now. He didn't ride for KTM before, but a lot of manufacturers are calling him now, and we think he'll be on a big bike next year riding for one of those teams. Aiden won the super mini two class, and the best part about it, he's actually a pretty nice kid, and he's pretty knowledgeable about what's on his bike let's talk to Aiden now to hear what he's done to his KTM 112 Super Mini. All right, Aiden. So looking over your bike, you got a lot of trick parts on here. You got like Cerakoting on the engine, FMF pipe and silencer. You got some major tall bar risers up here, T-Rex top triple clamps. But one thing that stands out to me, these brakes and the clutch look exactly like what comes on a KTM big bike and they do not look like what comes stock on a KTM 85. So uh, what's the deal there? Yeah, so stock OEM brakes and clutch mid moto you'll start start to feel some fade in the clutch in the front brake it gets a little bit mushy sometimes and the rear brake will start to fade during long motos so we put the big bike brakes and clutch on which bolt right up it's made for the big bike so the clutch is much easier to pull in there's no mush in the front brake it's probably my favorite part of the whole bike all right a couple other bits here on the front end i noticed you have air forks on here tell us about that we run air forks over spring forks i personally think that the air fork or the a kit forks are too rigid i'd like to run a softer setting than most would like and i run the t-rex triple clamps and some pretty tall bar, bar risers and 827 bars Nice. So Renthal bars, also T-Rex makes the top triple clamp, but also the throttle has in here too. What do you like about that? I love my throttles to be soft and I cannot do that with the stock throttle. So T-Rex is, that's key if you want a nice throttle. Also Aiden, I've seen you at the test tracks here in Southern California riding the new 2025 85 for like the last year. Um, I've seen you on it with the KTM R&D department. So you've already ridden the new generation bike that's just coming out right now. Is there anything that you liked off of that bike that you implemented onto this one? Uh, yeah, so when we were developing the bike, we realized that the, one of the big changes was the swing arm was had a lot more metal on it. It was a lot more bulky. It was just way more stable. It was a complete different feel and we couldn't figure out why our normal bikes couldn't feel like that stock bike. So the more we dove into it, we noticed that the swing arm had a lot more metal, so we welded some stuff onto the bottom Crazy. to make the swing arm more rigid, which helped a lot at Loretta's. It was it was one of the key factors to winning. One thing that I really like about Aiden is that he knows quite a bit about his bikes. When I was riding 85s, I had no idea what was going on inside the engine. So Aiden, uh, what do you appreciate about it? I know Lynx is uh, who built the 112 and built this engine for you, but what else other mods did you make? Yeah, Lynx makes a really great engine, but, but we like to run our own spec. Here we have a shorter carb that goes into the head that we like to run our own amount of gaskets on, which will change how the bike makes power and where it makes power. It'll also change the decking on the bike. I think this was, was a crucial part of me winning Loretta's, and yeah, I'm excited for Amari to try it today.
thing is so sick. All the power is right there. It's just, it has so much bottom end torque. It's, I mean, everything about it is just awesome. It's really good. is pretty sick. I can't believe it's carrying me. Oh my God! Oh. Can I get my bike back? Oh. Hey! All right, you take it. here he's part of the new MXA mini wrecking crew and he had the awesome opportunity to ride the Loretta Lens winning championship super mini uh, Amari you've been riding a Husky big wheel 85 though not a super mini you jumped on this thing today what was the, what was the experience like really fun uh, it was a huge difference like the power difference was insane you try to get on the gas in a corner on 85 you know it's you don't really it's not like that big of a jump but on this thing it's like you, you almost want to loop out honestly really? yeah it's crazy but uh no, it was really fun. Straightaways were crazy. The uphill was awesome. As it, was, it wasn't even a struggle on this thing. It was it was really nice. It that's, was awesome. That's cool. What about yeah. what about the couple times you almost took flight? I mean, I watched this guy go <laughs> down the start straightaway, pulling a massive wheelie, and I was waiting for the back tire just to take off and him just to keep climbing into the sky, <laughs> man. Yeah, it, I mean, it literally felt like I was about to take off, but it was really fun. Did it ever to sign off or just keep going? It just kept going. It never, never like topped out. It, it, it just... Like the power is always there. How much faster of the, is it than your bike? Like 20%, 15%, 10%, like what's, Dude, what's the difference? I'd probably have to say like probably 45% faster, maybe really? 50, yeah. That's it's insane. gnarly, That's yeah, insane. it's and, awesome. And you have some experience on a 105 before, but never a 112 like this. Yeah. And uh, all right, well, what about the suspension and the handling of this thing? Uh, me and Aiden, uh, we weigh like roughly around the same weight, so. Uh, the suspension was pretty good. Everything was really good on this bike. It handled really good. Nice. Yeah. Were you expecting the suspension to be softer or stiffer? Uh, probably a little stiffer just because he's a little taller, but yeah. it's pretty good. Nice. Yeah. Worked out good for him. So one big difference about this bike, it has big bike brakes and clutch on it. Did you notice a difference from your bike at home? Yeah. Um, so basically the brakes, they didn't get mushy at all uh, like they usually do. The brakes were really good. They were really touchy. They were, they were always in the same spot. They were really consistent. The clutch was on point it was so easy to pull in i didn't get any arm pump from it <laughs> but you, you normally use two fingers or one finger on the clutch? i usually use two on the 85 because it's harder to pull in but on this it's one finger it's like light work it's awesome that's awesome yeah so i even got to ride this thing today it was like a monkey on a pit bike and this thing was insanely fast uh, it's been a while since i've ridden a super mini actually one year we rode landon gordon's super mini from when he won loretta's last year it was a team green kawasaki and then we rode this thing today i will tell you my memory, it's been a year since I rode the last Super Mini, but this thing definitely felt faster. Um, really impressive today. Amari, was this bike everything you expected when you showed up today? Uh, honestly, I, was, I wasn't expecting it to be this fast. Really? But yeah, I mean, it was almost unreal. It was crazy. Nice. Yeah. Good times on this thing. I wheelied all the way up the hill. <laughs> Didn't even have to clutch it. Well, awesome day on this thing. I was super impressed with it. 
Aiden, fun to watch you. Is this your last ride on a Super Mini? Yep, this is the last time I'll ever officially ride a Super Mini. Crazy, so he's on to bigger and better things with 254 strokes, but man, this thing is so fun to ride. Honestly, I think you're gonna look back later on after your pro career and remember this day, and uh, the cool part about it, we'll have some videos on YouTube, magazine article to check it out. So last uh, last day on it, had Glen Helen all ourselves. How was it for you? Uh, it was awesome. I've honestly never ridden a fully prepped track like this. It was fun to just go around, shred berms, and yeah, it was a great time. Awesome. All right, well, Aiden Zings, Loretta Lynn's championship winning Super Mini. Lots of fun riding it today. Were you impressed with me? I was actually. I yeah? was impressed. Very, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good times. We'll see you in the next video.